Hello there, people. Uh, I'm Dimitro and I'm here in order to discuss this cryptographic problem. Most of the books that I went through and the internet tutorials have got the same monotonous problem of send plus more is equal to money. Well, I'm not here in order to discuss that crap. I'm here in order to discuss a very basic problem uh, in order to do this. Basically, cryptography is involved with a lot of artificial intelligence problems. Ignore the noise, please. Uh, a lot of artificial intelligence problems the cryptography and the encryption decryption part so in order to do so how does this happen basically here tom represents a group of numbers nag represents a group of numbers and when you add these numbers you get a different set of numbers which is encoded in the form of code the basic phenomena of cryptographic problem is normally nothing but that of addition addition in the sense is that for example you get uh, you get a number for example 5 plus 5 what does what do you do 5 plus 5 gives you 10 isn't it this is a single digit number this is also a single digit number but it gives you a double digit number how does this happen this is because of a carry isn't it so this is also a similar type of problem just here is in the place of alphabets you are adding tom which is encoded in some sort of number sequence of numbers and nag is also a sequence of numbers you are adding this getting a different set of numbers which is encoded in the form of good as clear as is it so let's just move on to the problem here this is the set of alphabets and this is the set of alphabets this is very important we've got a set of numbers here called uh, the numbers that basically are there normally in questions like this you just consider 10 numbers starting from 0 to 9 however in uh, you know tricky questions they are giving they will be supplying with, with numbers starting from 0 to 7 or 0 to 5 accordingly in the order to this question but for the sake of simplicity i have considered here 10 numbers starting from 0 to 9 and i'll be discussing this problem now so as you can see as i mentioned it here that um, normally what you get is that you get uh, you know three numbers and you're adding four numbers so this is supposed to be a carry now most of the examples they start considering it as one i'll give you the explanation the explanation is that in this set of numbers you add uh, in order to get a carry what you are supposed to do you are supposed to add five plus five isn't it five plus five for the sake of simplicity five plus five okay let us start by adding five and five what do you get you get 10 isn't it you get 10 if we are considering g to be 1 we are considering it is like that g to be 1 and o to be 0 but a same number will only arise when you have got the same alphabet in place for example you are adding e plus e then only this sort of a condition will arise apart from that there will be no such thing every alphabet has got a different number to its name for example if i consider t to be 2 i cannot consider n to be 2 because then it, it will not make any sense because t will also be if t is considered here 2 and n to be 2 it is not possible because you are adding these two numbers these two alphabets at the same time so these two uh, these two alphabets will consider a different number now as i've said it here e plus e gives you 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 so a same number will only be happening again if that alphabet is reoccurring for example there is g in goat and there is nag in g so this two g's will represent exact same number because the alphabet is reoccurring isn't it so this is the entire thing of uh, the reoccurring the numbers excuse me for the noise it's very noisy out there okay now let's move on uh, now i have maintained these numbers in order to give you a clear picture of um, of uh, nothing but that of a uh, you know what numbers represent what so since i've got already got my g as to be one i'll just strike off one and place here as g so that i already know which uh, number is which alphabet isn't it and remember i cannot allocate one to any other alphabet apart from g since i've already allocated it now moving on t now t can be any of these numbers 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 or 0 but i certainly know that o cannot be 1 
and O has to be either of these things. Now, how can we arrange T and N such that O is not 1? Remember, we cannot add 5 plus, we cannot add 5 plus 6. So, these two are out of contention because 5 plus 6 would give you 11. But um, O, G and O are not the same alphabet, so O will not be 11. So, just randomly picking up the numbers, let us consider A, okay, let us consider O, T to be 4 and uh, N to be 5. How am I saying it? I am just saying it for the sake uh, of uh, simplicity that you can also get some sort of conditions like that. It is irrelevant of the topic, but since I am also telling, if I consider T to be 4 and a, N to be 5, what, uh, what am I supposed to say? This is adding up to be 9. But since 9 has no, you know, we can also consider here a carry, which means that 5 plus 4, 9 is giving me, uh, in addition with it, I am getting a carry from here, which gives me the expectancy to say that 5 plus 4 is 5. And uh, this is additionally 1. So this will be 0. Are you getting my point? T to be 4 and I don't know whether it is correct or not I'm just telling you a brief introduction how normally these problems are solved if t is 4 and n is 5 we can also proceed with the fact that there is an additional carry which will be generated uh, from the left hand side we don't know but these are unique numbers isn't it we are not considering t to be 4 and n to be 4 isn't it but in a result this is adding up to be 10 which gives me the liability to say that O is 0. Now, O here is 0. Remember, O here is 0. Okay, let me just shorten this out. My dear friends, we can consider O to be 0, isn't it? And we know that there is a number called A. There is a number called A. Encode and uh, beg your pardon. There is an alphabet called A which is encoded in a number format, and it tells me that when I add a number with zero, I'm getting the exact alphabet again, which includes my contention that O is always supposed to be zero. There is no other way O is uh, O is changing its form. So O will definitely be. So are you getting my point? O will be zero. You know why? Because zero plus A gives a itself there is no carry no nothing which means that z uh, this has to be zero so there is no way that this is this four five will be four and five will be you know there so i have to just erase it out of uh, the fact that this will not be there will not be a carry. No, no, no. There will not, never be a carry. However, you do remember these things that this can obviously be uh, arising. Okay. So, let us just now move forward with the fact that uh, there is something coming up. So, if there is T, T is supposed to be adding up to 9. How it is supposed to take place? Can it be 6? Can it be 4? Obviously, you can try it out. Let us consider here that... Um, you can consider t to be 6 and and we can consider n to be 4 isn't it n to be 4 so 6 plus 4 we are considering it beautiful and t to be 6 n to be 4 it is usually now this is also a can you can consider any of the number apart from um, you know so we consider here 6 to be our uh, 6 to be our t just let me cross it out and 4 to be our n isn't it so this is my n and a to be anything apart from these two numbers uh, let us consider a to be 9 why i will tell you let us consider a big number suppose say there is 9 so i just cross out a and place a just cross out 9 and place here a uh, and we are getting c now we are stuck in a position in which g is 1 this has to be our uh, 6 so m has to be 5 as simple as that so m is 5 
over so it is as simple as that this problem is not so hard as i have mentioned it earlier there is no carry or something like that i've just considered it and i hope that you got a glimpse of how to solve these problems so with that i'll take your leave thank you for tuning in and hopefully i'll be presenting a lot more videos in order to see enjoy and please uh, i'm a beginner so hopefully you'll be leaving a comments uh, by which i can improve myself thank you and have